Biggie, of, of all the coffee chats we've done so far, this is the first time we've had a hot chocolate with marshmallows, cream the whole lot. Yeah, I just want to be different, you know. <laughs> not really a coffee person. So. No, you're not, no. You did say you were a peppermint tea guy though, didn't you? Yeah, I love peppermint. But today you thought, why not? <laughs> just brush my teeth as well, so oh, no. I thought it'd go well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, how's, how's things, mate? Have you ha managed to like come down after the weekend and how the highs of Saturday? Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, that's what football is, yeah. you know, you... Um, once you, once you, you you're involved in a game and whatever result it is, if you win, the, the atmosphere is up and you're you know enthusiasm and you're all happy. If you lose, you're down. But as soon as the day is over, you need to you know that's in the past now. Can't do anything about it. So as great as Saturday was, as Sunday was, you know our, our focus now is on uh, Dundee. You were telling me just before we started this a wee story about what Christian said to you after the game as well. What can you, what can you tell me about that? Yeah, no, we just after the game, just in the changing room, and you know everyone was buzzing, and you know he just said, you know, he never knew supported mother one until the third goal went in. <laughs> so um, you know, it was just great, great buzz. You know, getting that third goal. Um, I don't think you know you couldn't you couldn't write it how it was going to turn out. So. It's just a great, great day, really. Is it kind of? Is Motherwell like that as a club that once you're in the door and once you're a player there, you just you're so engrossed in the way that it's run and everyone just yeah, I mean, clubs together. As a player, you you sense that. I sense that when I come in, but obviously it's difficult when you know when if you're not involved as a player, but but you can know. Um, deny the, the atmosphere and the togetherness and, 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 and the people around the club. So, yeah, every player when they come in, they, they straight away, they, that's the comments they give. Yeah, and we'll, let's talk a bit about last season for you, Biggie. It was, you've, you've had the, almost the lows of last season at the points you, you've admitted you, you were struggling a little bit. Now you've fairly turned things around. Tell me about last season, just how difficult was it? Um, you know, personally and individually, uh, for me and my wife, because we just move away from Coventry, it's five hours away. So you come here and you hope to like settle in straight away. Um, so just football in football, so I wasn't I wasn't involved at all. Uh, the team was doing great, you know. Um, you know play, players like Alan Campbell, you know, step up and, and and was one of the best players for me, I think, in in, in this last season. But even outside of football, where we were living. In, in Adria, there was some problems and stuff. So, you know, coming from training to go home, you, you're all, you, it's like you're, you're in the same situation where there's just difficulties. But yeah, I don't know. Um, because I'm a passion guy, and because uh, my passion is is to, to do what God wants me to do. So, and sometimes that can be a dangerous situation because. You can have ideas where you think, you know, God wants me to quit so I can go into like ministry and, 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 and uh, full-time church. So, and that was sort of the idea of it because I thought like maybe he wants me to stop football because I'm not enjoying it and I'm not playing and maybe it's my time to quit. But, you know, like I said in the interview, through the help of my wife, you know, I believe God spoke to her and she gave me good, uh, wise wisdom and, and, and just reminded me. You know that I'm still young and, 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 and things will turn around. I just need to be patient and, and keep working at it. And they have turned around. Yeah, exactly. They have turned around, haven't they? So, tell me just how much you, you've turned around in your own head. How much you're enjoying things. You feel settled and happy. You must really be I mean, generally feeling good. My, my mindset was to just, as a player, all you can do is come to training. Um, we don't train. We don't train longer. We train yeah. one hour forty-five. So in that 45 minutes, as an individual player, I've got, if I can walk as hard as I can for 15 minutes, that should be good enough. Um, so I just had that mindset and knowing that I don't want to put my expectation on the manager because for some reason he might pick the team that he thinks is going to win the game. I, I might not be involved. Yeah. I can't do anything about it. So if he picks me, if he doesn't pick me, you know, I, I, unless I didn't put my expectation and, and, and if, if I put my expectation and he doesn't pick me, yeah. then my morale gets knocked down. Uh, and that's when players start getting, you know, down and down and down. So I just thought I'll come in back into new season and anything can happen, anything can change. Just like last season, 
the, nobody was expected Alan Campbell to be as much involved as he was. And, you know, he did so. I, that that inspired me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that's why you're wearing that jumper today, is it? Oh, for yeah, the, for yeah. us, yeah. So we this, fall, we rise. Yeah. No, this is my yeah. This is my my brother-in-law's um, close company. Oh, very uh, nice. Yeah. Very good. Uh, Stylish Kings. Are we dropping a wee advert in there for them? <laughs> <laughs> what <are> you think? <laughs> Always. You yeah, of course. Shout out. <laughs> But uh, let's just turn our attention to the football now, of course. You've mentioned that everyone's looking ahead onwards to Dundee. How are you feeling for the weekend, Biggie? Um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, like I said, I'm just taking each day. Um, but I'm really excited because, God willing, if we get the three points on Saturday, the points against Rangers is going to feel like a three points. You yeah. know, so... Um, and that's the mindset we gotta go there. Um, you know, we we always turn up against big teams, so we need to make sure we approach Dundee with you know the same with the respect that you know that they have they have their own strength, and and and, and, and if we can stop their strength, and then we're always gonna create chances and we're always gonna score. So um, that's the mindset, really. Yeah, and just one final thing I wanted to mention to you. I think I mentioned this to you in the car. Today's <laughs> National Michael Jackson Day and you sang that song in your initiation. When I love you. <laughs> that's what I was wanting. Yeah. And he stepped up and done nah, it. Yeah, he's Thank saying, you. Who's loving you, Michael Jackson? Pleasure. Well, we'll get it on in the car back, shall we? Nah, of course. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Thank let's you. Go. It's been a pleasure, mate. Pleasure, Thank you very much. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of your show. <laughs>